Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be upon you. Welcome again to your own program, Gems from the Quran. Alhamdulillah, last time or the last episode, we stopped at the verse from the Surah Al Ghashiyah, the overwhelming Surah. And we stopped at the ayah where Allah Almighty said, وَأَكْوَابٌ مَوْضُوعًا So now we are talking about Jannah, the paradise. And what's in Jannah? What's in paradise? What Allah Almighty prepared for those who are believing, believing men, believing women, they will enter the paradise. And they are going through all these wonderful things that I just mentioned in the last episode that Allah says فِيهَا عَيْنٌ جَارِيَةٌ There are following springs that people can literally see and drink from it and take water and, and, and they can wash from it and they take a bath from it they do whatever they want in Jannah and then Allah Almighty said the verse after it Allah says فِيهَا سُرُرٌ مَرْفُوعًا and they have these raised couch. Couch? They are raised, they are up. So they are seeing everything, all the scenery, everything they are seeing in a nice way. And they are happy and they are enjoying and they are into that happiness or that moment that they cannot describe the people of paradise. And then Allah Almighty said, وَأَكْوَابٌ مَوْضُوعًا That also they will have the cups in their places. Yes, they just drink from it. They just go and have fun. And these cups, as we mentioned earlier, that in these cups, different kind of juice, different kind of drink, different kind of things that you can imagine or you cannot even imagine. So in one cup, as we said last time, you will see that there's juices in the different you know, varieties. In some other cups, you will find the milk. Some other cups, you will find there are honeys. Some other cups, you will find wine. And all these things that you will drink and you will not lose your conscious. You know? And you will feel more and more happy and you want to drink more and more from this milk, from this honey, from this wine, from this juice and everything. So Allah says, Akwabun. That you have all these cups lined up. And then Allah Almighty said what? Which means that they have cushions also lined up. So imagine when you enter, everything is tied up, everything is so beautiful, everything is so nice that in this world, imagine with me, once you get inside your house, or in a place that you know you are invited to and once you go inside you will see that the table or the table is so nice and tied up you will look at the cushions so you will find the cushion that the cushions are completely in a nice way on the couch you will see some other places and you will see all these nice places everywhere lined up tied up nothing you know, nothing is, is messing around, no, nothing is messed up. So you will feel nice and we are talking about this world. If you have this lavish place somewhere, somewhere you are invited, someplace you are invited and you are so happy about it. So, what about the Jannah? What about the paradise when Allah Almighty will take me and you and all the believer men and believer women? What will happen once you enter? You will go through all these things about these nice places and the couches and the springs and all these things until you will see that your own drink is lined up in a nice way and you can drink whatever you want the quantity doesn't matter you, you keep drinking and drinking and Allah will give you more and more and then Allah Almighty as I said he said there, there will be cushions lined up for you not only that Allah Almighty said after that وَزَرَابِيُّ مَبْثُوثَ What وَزَرَابِيُّ مَبْثُوثَ means? We will take a short break and after that you will know 
the meaning of it. So stay with us. Dear viewers, welcome back. So we stopped at Wazarabiyu Mabthutha. What it means? It means that the carpet are spread around. You know, this is the welcoming. You know, you will feel that honor, you will feel that joy that someone, it, he, someone put for you the carpets. And everywhere, wherever you walk, you will walk on a carpet. In this world, the red carpet is only for VVIP people. It's only for the presidents. It's only for the, those who are royal and, and these big people. But imagine if the simplest person on this earth will enter Jannah in the day of judgment because he believed in Allah, because he believed in the Prophet of Allah, he believed in the Quran, he believed in all these things and he followed and he implemented everything. This small little guy in this world, the simple man, he will be in Jannah and there will be carpet for him everywhere. He will walk and there is carpets for him. He goes left, there is carpet for him. He goes left, right, everything, every single step that he will take, there will be carpets for him. Isn't it amazing? In this world, we, we just want to walk once upon a time, or we just, you know, I, I wish, someone will say, I wish I will walk on this red carpet like these celebrities, like these famous people, like this president, like this king, like this royal man. On the day of judgment, Allah Almighty will not only put one carpet for you in one path. He will put carpet everywhere. Mabthutha. That zarabiyun mabthutha means like spread, spread everywhere. You just walk and you will find this welcoming red carpet to make you feel, feel VVIP. To make you feel you are special. To make you feel you are proud. Or Allah and His Messenger and Allah and His angels, they are proud of you to be in Jannah. Why? Because you obeyed Allah and his messenger and followed the Quran and implemented the Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, the ways and the traditions and saying of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, you applied them in Jannah, in world. So the result is Jannah, the paradise. And then what happened? After telling all these things about the people of the Jannah, means people of the Jannah they are happy people in Jannah, they are enjoying people in Jannah, they have springs and couches and the cushions lined up, the cups lined up and everything for them and the carpets and everything. And then Allah Almighty talking to these non-believers. So Allah keep telling good news and glad tidings to the believers and then Allah switch His talk and the way of His talk to the non-believers and keep telling them and reminding them and telling them, if, if you don't come to the track, there will be miserable condition and situation for you. So after talking to the people of the Jannah and giving glad tidings to the believers in this world, telling them about what will happen there in the hereafter, what happened? Allah Almighty said, أَفَلَا يَنظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبِلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ Don't they see that how Allah Almighty created the camel don't they see? Don't they ponder? Don't they realize that how Allah Almighty created this animal? How it was created, the camel. And Allah Almighty gave us this example, number one camel, because at that time people, of course, they used to have this camel as a ride and they used to go and travel from one place to another place. Most often they are using camel beside the horses and the donkeys and the other things. So number one, Allah gave them the example that it suits the, that people. But at the same time, the camel by itself, it's a tough and very powerful animal. So Allah Almighty is saying that Imagine this animal that Allah Almighty created. He's an animal, but yet he is so powerful. This animal can live in desert for weeks and weeks, if not months, without drinking a sip of water. This is the creation of Allah. So Allah is saying that just this, imagine this, this one animal beside all these, the creation of Allah Almighty, the billions and the billions of the creation that we cannot even think and ponder upon just one animal. Look how 
Allah Almighty created that animal and this animal is taking the way on, on, on uh, his, his path or the way he is created and that he lives for months and months and months until you know, uh, he, he, he is not required to drink. And there are many other features on this animal, amazingly. But insha'Allah ta'ala, we will continue until the next episode and we will talk about this wonderful animal. So until then, stay with us and we will see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.